this is the first. I have no idea if anybody is out there. Somebody give me a thumbs up or something if you can hear this. No? Well. John Tolles is live now. There's Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. I think it made me live and not the church. Oh, here they come. Hi, y'all. Can you hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. It seems to be a bit delayed, so I don't know. Somebody give me a thumbs up if you can uh, hear what's going on. Hi. Okay. Very good. You can hear me. I guess it's a bit delayed in uh, what I'm saying and what you're hearing, but I'm delighted that you're with us. And uh, there's more people coming on as we speak. So we're going to wait a few minutes, but uh, before we actually get started proper, um, while I've got you, I'll let you know that still no result from the doctor, but um, I'm still waiting on the COVID-19 uh, results. So I, I so truly appreciate your prayers these days, and uh, uh, God willing, uh, this this too shall pass, whether uh, whether I've got it or not. So thank you for your prayers. Well, we'll go ahead and we will get started live here. Um, we'll get started with our program. Uh, we don't want to miss our noon noon time uh, start. Uh, this is as it stands currently the uh, Saint Matthew's Episcopal Church Command Central. Um, for quarantine 2020. Um, I would turn my camera around and show you a little more of the place, but you would see that I'm not great at doing dishes. On the other side of the table um, is a pile of laundry that needs to be folded, and yes, I am wearing pajama bottoms. So we're going to sit right here and we're going to do this thing together. Um, it was a couple days ago that uh, Pope Francis um, issued a call uh, to all Christians um, including uh, uh, those across all different denominations. And he, he called out to the church leaders around the world and asked to join in. And we know that uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, we know uh, that our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, and so many other church leaders responded to this call to prayer at noon today during uh, at your time zone. And the prayer request was this. Um, with the universality of prayer, of compassion, of tenderness, adding, let us remain united. Let us make our closeness felt towards those persons who are the most lonely and tired. He went on to say, in these trying days, while humanity trembles due to the threat of pandemic, I would like to propose to all Christians that together we lift our voices towards heaven. He went on to say, the heads of the church to the heads of the churches and the leaders of every Christian community, together with all Christians of the various confessions, to invoke the Almighty, the omnipotent God, to recite at the same time the prayer that Jesus our Lord taught us. He said, May the Lord listen to the united prayer of all his disciples who are preparing themselves to celebrate the victory of the risen Lord. I thought it would be a great time uh, to go live with you all. And today, uh, to join our voices with those other Christians across the globe in prayer. And so at this time, um, let's just take a, a moment here and we'll be uh, silent. We'll gather ourselves and um, we'll call out to our God, who is the living God, whose son Jesus came to redeem us. So let's take a moment here. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. 
Amen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to come see me in my home. I pray that you stay healthy, that you pray safe. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. God bless. Have a great day. And look for me here again, because uh, um, now that Cousin Janie, my Luddite cousin, got me hooked up on this, um, I'll come see you more often. Thanks. Bye-bye.